They are a glorious evolution deck. Glorious evolution battle! What's up, Fiora? <gasps> we did it! We really did it! Don't deny it! Don't deny it! Come on! Yes! Oh, baby. Zero mana, level up Fioras. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some glorious evolution. That's right, our last meme tier deck of the day is going to have a glorious evolution in it. So we're going to be playing this 10 mana PNZ card. Um, it is a slow speed spell. All of your cards cost one less mana than normal. They all have the augment keyword. They are all created cards from glorious evolution and are also tech as well. Pretty awesome little meme tier card. One that, you know, we've definitely wanted to play. People asked to, to build a Glorious Evolution deck. And so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna play it with Heimer and Victor for the two champions. Victor, I think, being the most important um, because um, every single card would then be a created card because of Glorious Evolution. And so to level up Victor, you just wanna play seven created cards. Should make that a lot easier to level up your Victor. Of course, everything then has the augment as well. Um, but then, of course, Heimer. You know, Heimer cares about all the tech. Um, even though, like, the, the techs don't level up Heimer because you need turrets to level up Heimer. But, you know, they kind of go together. And, um, you know, everything else would be the created cards and things like that. So we decided to go, like, those two champions with Glorious Evolution. Those All three of those are Piltover and Zong cards. So then you can really go with any region you want for a supporting region. And we're choosing Freljord, because Freljord uh, has good early removal. It's got these sweepers with Avalanche, Blighter Ravine. It has like some ramp to help us get to Glorious Evolution a little faster. Feel the Rush is another really cool top-end card, putting both a Heimerdinger and a Victor in play, both at 10-10. And then you have Howling Abyss. Howling Abyss is creating... Uh, level two champions and so those are all created cards for victor also um, so you get a lot of cool stuff with freljord and then you know you have all these uh, frostbite cards you have troll chant for protection you got nexus healing with tavern keeper lots of cool stuff so this is going to be our deck we're going to be playing a glorious evolution control deck let's have some fun we're, we'll go play five games in ranked here we go So we're playing no champion, or yeah, no champion Freljord Shadow Isles. A lot of people with this no champion list are playing um, Howling Abyss, right? Like so that, that's what you got to think. Like if there's no champions, it's probably a Howling Abyss deck. So we do have aftershocks in our deck, and looks like we found one. I did want to keep Ballistic Bot and Catalyst of Aeons. Once I stand papers, now faces. All right, I could have played that, but I'm just passing because they wasted their mana last round. Are they going to want to play Catalyst of Aeons? I don't know, I could just pass again. I waste two mana, they waste four. I'm not too worried about that little bit of damage. Ooh, a Curse Keeper? Okay, so this is a little different from what I was expecting. These old eyes still see far and clear. Yeah, definitely a little different from what I was expecting. I'm just thinking like Ruination, you know, I didn't want to... I don't need to commit Bot, Bot, and Victor all in play at the same time. For what is very likely a Ruination deck. Ooh, Heimer. 
exit the door. Come on, boys. Let's talk about your dad. Can you improve perfection? I don't want to play either champion because I play a champion, they play Howling Abyss. I'm still pretty convinced this is a Howling Abyss deck. So I'm keeping Aftershock available this round. patient. I think that we will be rewarded for patience. Even if I don't really know what's going on. Exactly. I think we're going to be rewarded for patience. Alright, yep. The opponent's like, that glorious evolution is going to be too good for me. They saw how patient we were and, you know, not really giving them any good opening. And we're there. All right, we got the Victor mirror. They're going Zillion Victor. We'll either have Catalyst on three or some treasures on three, depending on what the game's looking like. We can do either one. Or Avalanche on three. We will have some options. That's a very good use of drop order. Discarding it and drawing a better card. <laughs> Hands look pretty decent right now. I'm kind of leaning towards Catalyst on three. We're going Callus on three. Let's get to this Feel the Rush. So if we want to round seven Feel the Rush, we can do it. They're choosing their predicts super fast. Yeah, I could definitely see my opponent playing Glorious um, Evolution. I could see it. I don't really know why their fearsome victor wasn't attacking. Couldn't tell you. I didn't block Zillion. One, we have one extra life, but two, I would prefer Zillion to be on board right now. I don't really want to kill the Zillion. There's a 
right tool for everything. I got a Zevi. More equipment for the field. Zevi's probably going to be pretty cool. They are a glorious evolution deck. Seem like a good plan. Draw the champion with wins with zero mana with Zevian play. That didn't seem like a good plan. Glorious evolution battle. I don't think they thought that out. This <laughs> is Gamma. I think you're right. I don't think they did. So the things you make afterwards, do they have... Okay, so Glorious Evolution does... I wasn't sure about that. If it if it affected everything you made, the rest... So it is... It does count everything everywhere. So, like, this is a, you know, like a, you know, 1-1 one, one challenger now, for example. Because it, it has the augment as well. Okay. So it's good to know that that's how that works. Um, and I guess because we have Heimer, so we want to just trade those off. And I guess I'll trade with Zev, you know, like have them block with Zevi. Okay, they're going to just do that blocking and take 20. Nope, not take 20. I'm okay with all this. The old 3 mana, 1310 elusive augment. This is why I didn't kill Zillion earlier. Time is that is their third Zillion. They discarded the second Zillion. So when they said every so Glorious Evolution says everything is tech, and Heimerdinger says turrets. It doesn't say tech; it says turrets. But we still just played this tech, and it leveled up Heimer like it was a turret. So that's different. That's good to know. Is it those all? But then, so I don't know. So this is kind of weird. It's. It's weird. But this is really cool. I agree. Yeah, this is this is working like it's supposed to. At least. We got our glorious evolution. This is a glorious evolution. I would have to say. Okay. Yeah, the old <laughs> 27 Heimer. 21 7 Heimer. 21 10 Victor. So, of course, whatever they play, we know the other cards are the same. They're two cards, or both the cards. Created by Zevi. Genius. 
Just gonna frostbite this so they can't. Um, can't block the victor because it's fearsome. Don't worry about the whole elusive thing. All right, there we go. Truly remarkable. Truly remarkable. We're two and oh. Sorakatom. Don't have like the best removal for either Soraka or Tom Kench, where hopefully we're able to go bigger. Um, Tom Kench eats up Victor, but besides that, that's like their one card to eat up Victor. We are playing Aftershock that gets to destroy the Star Spring, so that's very good. So really hoping no Tom Kench. The, the the entire rest of the deck, I'm pretty. I'm pretty confident we can do good against. Tom Kench is going to be the scary card for us. So I'm hoping they have Star Spring, Soraka, like that part of the deck, so we can blow up the Star Spring with Aftershock. The other option is if there is a Tom Kench, we can um, Frozen Tomb, you know, Entomb the Tom Kench. And then Aftershock the Entomb. We shall weave our own destiny. That's an option. I'm still good to scrub. Looks like no Tom Kench. And I'm happy about that. Be at peace. Take a I'm really glad they didn't just pass the round. Broadback Protector doesn't do too much if you're at 20. By starlight. Ooh, you wee scruff. All right, no nightfall on that. I just want to keep getting the keywords. I know this could be an Aftershock, but I'll kind of wait for next round for Aftershock. Even though I guess I can Glorious Evolution next round. Yeah, I guess I'm, guess I'm going to Glorious Evolution. Oh, that's perfect, AB Carter. My whenever my stream starts is right whenever you get home from work. That's perfect. All right, leveled up Victor. So now Glorious Evolution means all of our cards cost one less. Leveled up Victor is going to be all of our cards cost an additional one less. And this is awesome. So now, zero mana troll chance. What do you have? Tough lifesteal overwhelm spell shield. I don't know, might as well make some challengers. Two two challenger right now. All right, pass. Metal 
perfection. Cards don't do anything if they're not damaged. No, so I assume that like they just have like all like protection, right? So it doesn't really make sense for them. Like they can't really play any protection. Yeah, like I'm not like helping them out by attacking or not damaging anything. Stars fall. This, you know, two four Heimer does make a difference. Yeah, like this is over. <laughs> they didn't have the Tom Kench. The glorious evolution. That card's been awesome. We've played it three games. We are three and O. Oh. Zillion Echo. Let's see if we can get another glorious evolution. I think I'm going to just send that back. I like the Brittle Seal against Echo. And so I'm going to keep this Brittle Steel. Like, they attack with their Quick Attack Echo and just one mana, boom. Surprise him. Once I stand papers, now faces. So this is a good opening hand for sure. I'll just pass. Press a very yum. That's yum, Y U M. Press a very yum. On this one. <sighs> I guess I'm just gonna use the Brill Seal now. I do have a troll chant. Save me, Save me, that I am superior life form. What's up, Victor? So I'm gonna want to have this Victor in play before. Uh, before the field of rush. I'm kind of thinking like this next round victor and then the following round catalyst and then the following round field of rush. Yeah, that should work. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. Press a very yum. I haven't. I didn't really plan it out, which I probably should be. Of like, can I cast these hex core upgrades and still feel the rush in a couple of turns? Maybe not, and so maybe. Yeah, I guess. All right, yeah. So it's gonna be one extra turn before we're able to. Yeah, we're not gonna feel the rush next round. Plus, I wouldn't be able to anyway. To have to be in two rounds, even with the catalyst. Let's take and play this. All right, so I, I have to save three mana this round. I'm gonna start with eight. So that means I have five mana to spend. And I have plenty to do, to do with five mana. So I can go like Hexcore upgrade. Oh, how long have you cost six? I do my own stunts. Okay, so I could kill this Echo now, but nope, I want to play Field of Rush next round. Yes, 
that's five out of seven. Cool. Get some drop orders. Drop order, aka waste of space. I'm like, I'm like one away. One away from the level victor. Because I do this, but my victor is still not leveled, so I don't get to do like the two hex core upgrades. Oh, don't. AB Carter, no, don't do it. Oh, no. AB Carter saying they're going to have deny. No, 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 no. Don't deny. No, 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 no. Let this happen. Oh, I forgot they have deny in these regions. I always forget about that. Yes. No deny. Ha. All right, we good. No deny. Oh, good call. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Keanu Reeves, I'm sorry. Keanu Reeves said I should have played Heimer. Like, played play the Thermogenic Beam for zero mana so I could play the turret so that then the victors would have leveled up and then I could have played the two hex core upgrades. And it would have let me upgrade. Anticipated outcome. I was, yeah, I was thinking, like, I, I need, like, this thermo to kill this thing after, but, yeah, I should have just done that. That would have been cooler. I could have got the, extra, the two extra keywords. Dude, Feel the Rush has been ridiculous, though, for us. Remember back in the day before Spectral Matron and before Watcher when people used to play Feel the Rush? Seems like that was a long time ago, though, before Spectral Matron Watcher. No, the hex cores are separate. So, like, one hex core will only apply to one victor, and the other hex core will only apply to the other victor. They, they are separate and only care about their own victor. There's, there's of course the augment part, but like this one will be a keyword to this this victor, and then this one will be a keyword to this victor. No materials, no so yeah, this one's only this one. Alright, so this one has Overwhelm. This one has Scout, Lifesteal, Fearsome, Spell Shield. They both have a Augment. <laughs> oh man. So many creative cards. I was hoping they were going to just keep, like, not attacking. That would make my life better. But they figured out to attack. That was smart. Because you know I'm playing Howl Abyss. You better believe that's happening. All right, so this is the card they just took off the prediction. I'm kind of thinking that that's going to be Chrono Break. And they just put more Chrono Breaks in their deck. What's up, Fiora? <gasps> we did it! We really did it. Don't deny it. Don't deny it. Come on. Yes! Oh, baby. Zero mana, level up Fioras. Look 
kill a time bomb out of here. Alright, let's play Fiora. Who's always two steps ahead. <laughs> oh no, they time bombing. What ever will I do? Um, wait. No, I'm playing you. Replace that, heal this. Oh, maybe I should be healing Victor. All right, so maybe that was time bomb. I guess I didn't I didn't pay attention to their hand, but maybe that was counterfeit the, t the time bombs. It was something. I don't know. They're counterfeiting something. Let's get some keywords. Keywords are cool. What else we got? We got some regen. Quick attack. Quick attack. Cool. We can deal with some quick attack. All right. Sorry, Fiora. You did good. You did good. Alright. Let's get some more upgrades. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we're gonna go with this. Get another upgrade for this victor over here. Regen? That's what I'm talking about. What else are we playing? Because uh, I want to make this thing a 3 1 and then challenge the Echo. I don't have room for anything. You have Quick Attack and Overwhelm? Whoa. That's not fair. That's probably not fair. Alright, I guess we can just do this. And we'll just use the troll chant. They'll make this three. Oh no! They didn't do any blocking. Alright. Alright, 4 no. Probably should have played those other two zero mana 01 challengers. Just play those over top of each other to bump buff up like my victors and Heimer and Dino a little bit more. All right, as y'all know, with when it's meme tier Monday, if we are four and O oh with a meme tier deck in normal, that means we go and head on over to ranked. So we're gonna take this glorious evolution deck and try it out over in ranked. We'll see if our opponents are gonna let us cast more glorious evolutions and feel the rushes. Ooh, or if we play against some mean Talia stuff. Now, this is not going to be a Frozen Thrall Talia deck, so I guess they're probably not going to be too mean. I'm going to keep all this. This looks like some good Piltover and Zaun action. Yeah, I guess I had one of the victors was Overwhelm, Quick Attack, like 25 power. I guess I could have attacked that earlier. I wasn't really paying attention to that. I was just paying attention to getting like the cool stuff in play. Okay, um, question, how is this deck going flawless in the rank up Yeti deck today's worst performer? Because this deck can go way over the top, like the Yeti's deck wasn't powerful enough at the top end. This deck has been very powerful at the top end, and that's been the difference. This has just been a much more powerful deck. The Yeti deck just also didn't kill them very quickly, but then also didn't... Um, I think I'll just pass. It didn't kill them very quickly, but then it also was just getting outclassed at the top end. And we just weren't doing, you know, like we weren't doing our combo. But this glorious evolution has looked great. I guess I just let it go. Let it go. Ballistic bot will die and we'll let it go. Wow, using chip as a killer? 
I guess they want to keep their chip alive instead of keep their Merciless Hunter alive. So they would have just used Merciless Hunter to kill it, then I'm blocking chip. Yeah, we're trying to evolve in rank right now. Here's some scout. They're out there. I'll spot them. Come the little brilliant design. Shim, you are the noisiest little rock. You must do better. Too bad we drew that aftershock. Little late. And a hard place, Chip? Ready the torches. I could definitely see just blocking the other chip instead of Talia. Oh, it's a tough call. More avalanche. Of course. Elusive. Elusive. So we kind of felt like with that Talia attack is that they had an, an additional Talia in their hands. That was that was my guess. Four out of seven. No, don't 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 hurt my don't hurt my Victor. I don't like my Victor. Regen. Oh, now spell shield. Come on. Now spell shield. We gotta stay alive. Onward, everybody. The horizon calls. We got to stay alive. Our Malphite would be leveled up too, but they wouldn't have the mana for the Malphite spell right now. But it is leveled up. I'm thinking, so I'm thinking about playing this for Entomb, getting, you know, it's burst speed, getting the turret, playing the turret for a blocker, and then Entombing the Talia, and then we go, like, block, block on the small things, on the themselves. small things. Oh! Right. They tell me who this ranch bot blocks. What? But my thing's vulnerable. Why would you not just like have that do something you want it to? Interesting solution. That is an interesting solution. Okay, we're gonna try to have this victor be all elusive and scout and win the game and stuff.
Okay, Glorious Evolution or Feel the Rush? I guess Glorious Evolution. Yeah, Glorious Evolution, because then that makes everything cost a whole lot less. Yeah, because then everything has minus two cost. All right, cool. I don't think I need to attack first. I don't think there's any difference of, like, attack right now or not attack right now. Like, attack first or after. I know it has the scout, but... Also, just don't have to attack first. Her light is our sword, her warmth, our armor. Alright, I guess I want the bot to start growing. Cause I, I, I don't know, I got like this challenger. It's doing cool stuff. Alright, let's see. How do we want to do this? I guess we'll scout it out first. See what's up. Okay, that's what's up. Now, we shall... Attack, 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 attack. Attack, attack. Check that. Attack. No! I was gonna win. Five and oh! Glorious Evolution! Man, that card was incredible! With our Heimer and our Victor. This deck is real! <laughs> this is Dan. Yeah, they could have had like a Quicksand and a Hush. You know, Hush is always the card you're scared, most scared of with Victor. Alright, so yeah, so you know, Freljor just adds on all like the different control elements to you. Aftershocks were incredible for us, there's so many landmarks r running around. Definitely glad we played a couple Aftershocks. Um, you know, the Brittle Steel. Like, just Brittle Steel is really underrated right now. There's a bunch of, you know, like, big big attack, small health, quick attack things out there. But yeah, Victor was doing great. Heimer creating the turrets, our created cards for Victor. And then, of course, Glorious Evolution. Really was a Glorious Evolution. Making, you know, all the created cards and everything's tech. So they're therefore turrets. They level up Heimer. They level up Victor. This actually played really well, it really did. Feel the Rush was also incredible, putting both of our champions in play. I, I think it could maybe you know, could maybe just go to Feel the Rush, no Howling Abyss. Y'all know I just like Howling Abyss. We're playing a meme tier deck. I wanted to throw a Howling Abyss in there. But Feel the Rush really felt like a, a good real card to go along with Victor and Heimer. Catalyst Veons was awesome with them. There wasn't anything I was mad at. Everything did well, everything did what I wanted it to do, so I wasn't mad at anything. Yeah, so may you know maybe just go to feel the rush zero abyss and just get your your cool 10 10 champs that like take over the game could do that but there we go that's the glorious evolution so those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there leave those comments hopefully y'all really enjoyed the deck if you try it out yourself hopefully y'all are enjoying it and feel free to let me know how it's going for you if you're somebody trying out this deck all right but that's gonna be our best meme tier deck of the day for sure so thank you so much for watching some Glorious Evolution, and I'll see you for the next video.